Hey guys, welcome to my workshop. Uh, glad you're with me today. So in this uh, part, part two, uh, extend my workshop, we will be doing the, the framing for the flare and the joists and then the sheet wood like that. Um, so uh, basically straightforward. I thought that I had to take all this off to, to get to the frame, uh, the flare and this one, but I don't need to do that. I can get away with no taking any of this off until we actually go to make the, the frame for the walls. So we'll, we'll get away with leaving all this intact now. Um, so essentially we're just going to be uh, measuring, make sure it's straight and most importantly is making sure that the flare on the extension is going to be the same height as the flare in here. So it's just one nice transition like that. Um, i got to do my best to make sure that, I, that, that that happens but if we're off a wee bit it's no that big a deal to be honest with you, you know, like, uh, so that's it guys, let's get to it. Got the outside frame on. I just need to cut these posts, uh, mark up every foot and a half, and attach the hardware to the joist on, uh, and then my my, my sheet. Wood.
got these uh, <coughs> mini joist tiles. Um, I'm going to use these. So I'll use these to get them in place. Then obviously I'll, I'll screw them to the actual frame itself. Look. So however it'll be well solid. Look. So there we go guys, that's the frame, all made, solid and secure, and I just used the last of my posts just to prop it under, get a wee bit more, you know, rigidity, like posts, 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 but the main beam, so you might be wondering why I had this post coming up and I hadn't cut it, because I wanted to use this, this post here to put this. Uh, is a 
you know, a supporting beam out of that post there for all these, but it's completely solid now. So I've got just all these bits just all propped under it like that, but that's solid enough for this post alone. It's, it does not move at all. Fucking happy with it. And I've put these all in because I'm going to cover all up so no creepy crawlies creatures of the night can get in. Aye, aye, I'll probably just use a chipboard, just put chipboard on that. Um, I just cover that right up. Um, so, only thing to do now is to put my sheet wood on top. So, that's what I'll do, and then we can call this part done. Screws, screws had been better. Um, I've made sure they're all they're all below the chipboard because obviously the frame's going to sit on this side. Um, but that's it, it's solid. Um, it's no a hundred percent square. Did measure it out to be square, but you know uh, it's a wee bit square. It's half square at this side down here. Um, but all in that, I'm happy with it, and it's it's solid, you know. Solid. And obviously, once I've got the frame in that up, um, I've got wood, actual real flare, to put down and tap it, but I'm going to put that on once I've got the frame off around it, so that's it. All thing to do now is to put the frame up. guys i hope you enjoyed watching that there so um rather pleased with how it went um certainly not perfect there was a few wee things that uh didn't go according to plan uh, like the the posts the post one of the posts was half uh, five centimeters so that that knocked out a square a good wee bit which uh, is not really important in the grand scheme of things. Uh, easy could have, um, like the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the post that was uh, 
295 centimetres and the one that was 300 I could have I could have just knocked 5 centimetres um, off the one that was uh, 300 centimetres and that would have took it straight again but uh, the only reason why I would have done that is because the posts I was using were kind of small as it is so I, I just didn't want to make them anywhere smaller um, so not really that important to be honest with you I'm not really fussed it's not one of the the things where it, you know, it keeps me up at night. It was a small hurdle, which, uh, you know, go out pretty easy. Not majorly important. Um, that middle post as well. Uh, only reason why I put that in there was just a, a, a further support for the joists. So, I'll be in a wee minute, honey. I'll be in a wee minute. Further support on the joists. Um, so, I all on that pretty happy with it overall pleased with the result rigid solid ready for the framework thank you guys for watching and i hope you've been enjoying it so far uh, ultimately i hope that you are inspired you know i hope that you learn something that you maybe say ah i can do that i want to build something myself you know which you can you must believe it if you don't believe it you're not going to do it believe it try it you make mistakes well you'll learn from it but you've tried it and you've gained that wee bit of knowledge and insight uh, which will make you more confident the next time so ultimately i hope you're inspired and encouraged to build something yourself see you in the next one guys all right